Hello everyone, it's Art Russell here at Think Twice on YouTube and thinktwice.me at wordpress.com. Today I'm going to share some personal history with the hope that it may help alleviate some suffering that may be headed your way. Now I hope you're not frightened by the term suffering. I know that the majority of us like to avoid it or distract ourselves the best way we can to hope that it will pass. The suffering that I'm referring to is strongly related to our sense of identity, to who we believe we are, who we think we are, versus knowing what we actually are. So here's my account. When I was 16, the story of my life included the passing, the sudden passing of my father. It was literally here one day and three days later gone. Now I did my best to cope with that the best way I could. And one of the ways that I coped with it was I would be a teenager lying in bed at night and I can remember I, I would be comforted if I could picture him in my imagination or my memory, or if I perhaps if I could hear his words. And I remember that there came a time when I struggled with picturing him so clearly. And the loss seemed to deepen. Now, I know that all of us understand, at least on a certain level, that we're all going to go through this. This life of form includes relationships that begin and then they end. But the suffering that we experience when that occurs can be alleviated if we have a deeper understanding of ourselves and therefore the people who are in our lives. Um, this is one of the reasons that I wrote and published my book entitled This Taste of Flesh and Bones. It's available through Amazon. But is that the only reason that I do these presentations to sell my book? No, of course not. Um, to me, that would actually be a waste of time. There are many good books out there about what I'm referring to. An understanding of our deeper self beyond name and form. Here's a wonderful book that I'm going through right now. The Essence of the Bhagavad Gita by Sri Kriyananda. Here's another one I'm going through. The Eye of the Eye by David R. Hawkins. How about The Teachings of Sri Ramakrishna? Uh, these are three wonderful books, and I hope that mine has some value for people, too. Anyway, that's, that's the purpose in this presentation today. I hope you've gained something from it, even something small, uh, to know that there is a true self beyond the self, the egoic self that we've um, believed ourselves to be for so many years. Anyway, bye for now. Take care.